Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be part three, four, maybe part four, three or four um, of my Witchcraft Wednesday videos where we are looking into tarot. Um, so today I'm going to be doing the wands and just going through which each card means. Um, so we'll just start straight away with Ace of Wands. So it looks like so. So just like all of the other suits, the first card tends to be like a new beginning. Um, just think of all of it being a journey, so like one being the start of it, and then you work your way through until you get to the king. So it's just basically, um, yeah, the beginning of, with the wands being about passion it's and creativity, it's the beginning of a new creative idea. So I've literally written down outburst of creativity, new ideas. So that's what the first card the ace of wands represents now you get this in reverse and you kind of think as i've always said like either the extreme or like the complete opposite so here i've written down like lack of direct oh it's gonna focus there we go oh. oh give it a sec Sorry, I've just changed the angle. Um, the lighting was just being weird and the camera wasn't focusing properly. So I've just changed the angle and, and hopefully this works better. So um, I'm just gonna continue with, so the Ace of Wands in reverse. I've written down loss um, or lack of direction. So just think of like a creative idea when it's just, it's new and beginning, but you um, almost just like don't know what to do with it. Rather than being like excited, you're kind of just getting more confused and stuff like that. So that is the Ace of Wands. Two of Wands, which looks like so. So this card is like a representation of like the beginning of something, like the actual, the action, like it's actually begun and it's the beginning stages. Um, so yeah, I've written here like work underway and future planning. So like the fact that he's sort of, you can sort of see that he stood like almost like on like a wall um, overlooking the sea. He's looking out almost like to see the horizon, like what lies ahead. And he's obviously already accomplished something because he's got the wall or whatever he is standing on. He's got that. So he's got like the two ones to represent like the start of something that's begin like just begun. So like work going underway, um, future planning get this card in reverse and it's obviously the opposite of that so maybe it's delay in work like going on or um we've put in here like lack of planning so yeah just not really thinking about the future and just um not kind of just being a drifter in, in the now at the moment but really not really knowing where to go or what to do for the future that takes us on to three of wands which looks like so So with the three of wands, I remember this as like expansion, um, kind of just like trying new things. Oh, I've got it. Yeah, trying new things and like expanding. Um, yeah, so I've written here like progress, expansion, and growth. I sort of see that as like he's looking at the ships which are going over to like the pyramid bit. So I just see it as like that first initial encounter. Um, when you know you're exploring like i see it as like an exploration and it they're like they're expanding their knowledge and where they've been and stuff like that so you get this card in reverse and it can mean like lack of expansion in the sense of like not thinking big enough um playing it small unexpected delays that's what i've written down for the three of wands four of wands looks like so So I remember this card being a representation of like celebration. So uh, maybe you're, you've hit a milestone in like your creative industry or anything like that, something creative that you're doing um, or something that you're really, really passionate about. You've obviously just like hit that first milestone and it's like a cause to celebrate. Um, you've got like a crowd of people like coming down to greet you. You're holding over like your head like a reef. So. Um, and there's just like fruit around and stuff like that. So it's, it's definitely like the sign of a celebration. Um, so 
so yeah celebration homecoming and success and then you find this in the opposite and it means transition um yeah transition so it's kind of just like you haven't quite got to that end success you're still transitioning to it um you're still making that sort of journey so that's yeah that's the four of wands five of wands looks like so and easily you can see straight away there's some sort of fight going on so this card indicates struggle um competition like aggression things like that it, it's like yeah like fierce competition like your competitor and it being quite a struggle so i've written here struggle frustration and tension <coughs> and then in reverse this card means can either mean um conflict avoidance or tension release so uh the tension that you would have had with it being upright has finally been dealt with um, and that, that tension's released or you've just kind of avoided the conflict um, altogether and you haven't you're just kind of like going round rather than through it six of wands looks like so oh. and this card is a representation of like public um, what's the word I'm looking for public acceptance kind of just like fame um, being recognised, being known, all of that sort of things, like having public recognition that's like for your work or your creativity, like you're, you're being, um, yeah, your work's just being recognised by the public now and it's, it's just become a bit more of a bigger deal. Um, public recognition and success, that's what I've written down. Get this card in reverse and it can mean the fall, fall from grace or egotistical so it's almost just like the fame has gone to your head and uh yeah you're just kind of a dick now um it's just negative or you've either uh been cancelled so that goes to the seven of wands which looks like so The Seven of Wands, like you can see in the card as well, this is definitely another struggle sort of card. Um, yeah, I've got in here like creative conflict and challenge. You can see that because it's like he's beating off the other sticks. So it could just be like, yeah, that he's, the sticks always represent what you've already been through. Uh, like I've said in the beginning, it's a, it's a journey. So you'll always see that there's the number of stick. Oh, for God's sake. So yeah, sorry, it lost focus, so I've just uh, had to restart it again. So um, yeah, with the Seven of Wands, you can see that there's like quite a conflict. He's obviously fighting off the other wands, and the other wands are a representation of the previous cards before, so the journey that you would have already been, because every, um, every suit in tarot, as well as the Major Arcana, it's all about a journey, so it starts from one to the end of that journey. So seven is like quite a conflict, you can see it's fighting off the previous um, sticks with the seventh one, and um, yeah, so that's obviously because the fire is an indication of creativity, that's obviously a conflict within creativity, that's like a good way to try and remember it kind of, I don't know. I feel like I may have waffled a little bit on that one. Um, get this card in reverse and it just means exhaustion. So like the extreme of like a conflict, you're either exhausted, you've given up um, and you're all you're overwhelmed. That's what I've written down. So um, yeah, this is all about, this one's quite negative either way, really. <laughs> uh, eight of wands. So the Eight of Wands is a representation of action or like excitement. So this one again, you can quite easily remember because they're shooting literally eight wands up into the air. So they're trying to like get over the seventh card, which was conflict. And they're trying to take action. They're excited. They're just eight wands going. <laughs> um, so obviously if you get this card in reverse, it can just mean, um, kind of like over 
overstepping your mark. I don't know if that's the right word. What have I written down? Delays or frustration. Um, just kind of like think that you've overdone it with the excitement or like, yeah, with the action because you were attempting to shoot eight wands and you're kind of like frustrated because none of them actually hit a target. So it's kind of just like, just overstepped. Um, or it's frustrate, yeah, frustration with that or delays, which could just mean that you're delaying the fact that you need to like take that action. So yeah, it could mean you're delaying taking the action or it could mean that you've taken the action and it's kind of failed and um, you're feeling a bit frustrated about it. So then that goes to nine of wands, which looks like so. So with this one, you can see that you've got eight wands. So those are eight, right? Yeah, eight wands um, in the back just lining up, which just symbolizes um, the work that's already been done. It's upright, it's in a like good position, it's kind of just stood there. So that's just proving the work that you've already done and the fact that he's holding the ninth and he's, it looks like, I don't actually know, he's just like kind of putting it into the ground, almost like the same sweep, like a sweep motion that you would do with a broom. It kind of looks like that sort of motion. Um, so he's still putting in the hard work basically. So this card is a representation of like hard working, uh, inner strength and resilience. That's what the other two words I wrote. So um, yeah, it's just kind of like, you've already done a really good job and you keep going. So you're just being resilient. You're on the right path. Get this in reverse and I've written struggle or defensive. So um, yeah, a struggle could just be like, you are like doing all the hard work, but you're, sh you're struggling with it a little bit and it's maybe being a longer journey than it needs to be. And the defense, I sort of see it as like the way that they're caged up. If you see it upside down, it kind of looks like a cage. Um, so just as like a defense mechanism, I know that's maybe a bit far-fetched, but that's just the way that I remember it. Um, and then the Ten of Wands looks like this. So this one is, um, again, hard working because they're carrying ten sticks and they're going kind of up a hill. So that again just indicates like maybe taking on too much responsibility or like maybe in a positive way. Um, yeah, so I've put oppressive burdens or and hard working. So yeah, there's just like things that you're doing because you have to do, but it's kind of like more work than you need to. Um, the whole like, you know, only taking one trip when you come back from shopping because you don't want to go back and forth from the car. So you're like carrying all the shopping bags. Um, that's that one. Get this in reverse and it's obviously the an extreme like negative version of that or like a, just a complete extreme version and with this one it's kind of just like you've taken on too much um yeah doing it all and carrying all the burden so it's just kind of like i see this as like an indication of maybe like extending the hand getting some help um it's not good to do everything on your own whereas like this way is kind of like you're doing a lot you're being hard working um and kind of a, an oppressive burden, but it's not like a burden at the moment. It's kind of just like needs to be done and you're, you're working really hard in a positive way. And then this one's kind of like, it's getting kind of bad. You probably should get some help. Uh, you're trying to do it all on your own. The next card <coughs> is Page of Wands. Now this card indicates um, new ideas, but like, in a sense of like from what you've already got, like a new like a new thing. Um, yeah, I've written new creative ideas and a messenger. So he does kind of look like a messenger and the way that he's holding the stick and he's looking out in the distance kind of gives me that like something new, like a, tra like a traveler. Um, yeah, like, yeah, somebody traveling and kind of trying to find new lands. They're just sort of like looking out like that. That's, that's kind of how I, remember it <clears throat> when you get it in reverse it just means redirecting ideas self-limiting beliefs um so yeah just maybe rather than having like a new idea you're just kind of being a bit more 
working on what you're already working but may just maybe taking it in a different direction rather than like doing what you've already done and, and thinking of a new thing altogether that's kind of like that one it's like a new thing it's a messenger like you come with the knowledge that you've already been through in the other cards and then this one's kind of just like you're still doing what you've been doing in the other cards but you're just going to take it in a different path now I hope that makes sense. <laughs> then I've got the Knight of Wands, which looks like so. So this one, he's riding a horse, he's got a happy face. Um, so usually like when they're riding a horse or just like in movement, it tends to mean like action. Um, so I've got this one I've written, like I think I've written action, energy and passion. And then when you get this in reverse, it's basically like the extreme of that. So um, it's kind of frustration, um, what's it called, aggression, scattered energy, frustration. That's Yeah, that's what I've written down as well. So it's just kind of like you've gone full steam ahead without actually thinking about it and now... It's, you're re like you're having to reap the uh... no that's not right because it's reap the rewards and it's not a reward <laughs> um, yeah basically you've just gone in without thinking and it's actually not as good of an idea as you thought <clears throat> queen of wands looks like so and this card indicates um, like create um, charismatic, entertaining, independent, um, what's the other words that I've written down, confident, social butterfly, um, and the way I remember this is because on her throne she's got two lions, which is the same uh, sign for a Leo, so I just think of a Leo's traits, um, when it comes to like creativity and they're, they're entertainers, they're passionate, um, they're social butterflies, uh, they like to be the centre of attention. I think this also can indicate fertility if I'm not, maybe like the birth of something new in terms of creativity, I'm not sure, but because she's holding the, um, oh my god, what's it called? The sunflower she's holding the sunflower so um that definitely has some sort of symbolism but i just remember it with the lions on the throne at the bottom there as like yeah it's kind of like the leo traits um oh and get this sorry get this card in reverse and you have like self-respect introverted re-establishing sense of self so kind of just like rather than being the extrovert, you're the introvert and you're kind of doing a bit of me time rather than wanting all the spotlight and projecting all your energy. <coughs> now this card is the King of, of Wands. I was going to say Swords. King of Wands and it looks like this. So the way that I remember this one is very similar to the Queen. I just see the two animals that he's got here. I know that he's got the lions here, so that also indicates that they're gonna have some sort of like Leo trait. Um, but they've got the rams, and the rams are the animal of Aries, and Aries is known as like new, like they're known as um, leaders and like adventurers and. Um, yeah people with vision so I've just written here it just is it resembles leadership vision and charisma um, which yeah is just like an Aries to be fair with a bit of Leo in them which is how I remember with the lions in the background so definitely like a charismatic um, type of person but someone that's a def definitely a leader um, and then you get this card in reverse oh my god it's so blurry struggling there we go so yeah if you get this card in reverse it just kind of means like an egotistical um yeah i've just written like impulsive ruthless and high expectations so just think of like the bad traits of an aries um where they just are quite impatient 
and um, can be quite high energy and which would mean like ruthlessness and uh, yeah very impulsive and stuff like that so that pretty much sums up all of the ones um, I hope I hope I helped this one's a bit more yeah different describing ways because it's more about creativity so yeah I hope I hope I've made sense and um, I will see you guys next week with another video where we will go into the pentacles thanks bye